standing on the corner next to the Church of St. Mary the Virgin, is one of the oldest buildings in the picturesque village of Datchet in Berkshire, the Royal Stag Pub. Parts of the building were built in the 15th century and may have been an alehouse from that time. Originally, the pub's name was the Five Bells, named after the Five Bells in the church tower, and was renamed the Royal Stag in the 1790s. In the rear bar is a broken tombstone with the skull and crossbones and the name William Herbert carved into it. William Herbert was a local brewer whose son John leased the tenancy of the Royal Stag in the 19th century. The pub's floor was slabbed with broken headstones from the churchyard when the church was extended. It was a cold midwinter night in the 19th century. The snow was coming down hard and quickly, leaving a thick blanket over the buildings and land. A labourer, local to the area, decided to go to the pub for a pint or two, and he took his young son. He didn't want his son going to the pub, so he sent him to go and play in the churchyard, which is right next door to the pub. The boy's father was having a great time, talking to friends and having a few too many ales. In the meantime, his son was still outside, but wanted to go home as he was too cold. He tried to gain his father's attention through the window, but he wasn't noticed. The boy tried one last time by putting his hand against the window of the pub, but he still didn't get any attention. It had got to a point where the boy was so cold that he collapsed in the snow. By the time his dad came out of the pub, the poor little boy had died. Ever since that tragic day, a small handprint frequently appears on the glass. Sometimes it only stays for a few hours, yet now and again it can be seen for months. In 1979, a photo was taken of the handprint, which is now on display in the bar. A national newspaper once had the glass removed and had it scientifically examined with the conclusion of it being a normal pane of glass. The glass has been replaced over recent years, but there are still reports of the little handprint 